Today I'm going to be installing some lights in my tiny home. Um, these lights are 12 volt, they're on a gimbal. And then I've got the globes already pre-fit. So these are going to go up into the ceiling here. Going to drill into the OSB, um, poke these up and then wire it. I'm only going to have one switch in here. Uh, most likely here so I can access that room, bathroom and this living area all the one place and um, makes wiring a lot more simple so these light housings require a 90 mil hole so I've got this hole saw which is adjustable which there it is and um, it's got this cover so when you screw it into the ceiling nothing falls on your face which is pretty handy so I'm gonna have one there one there one in the other room, one in the bathroom, so four lights in total. Um, what I gotta do is first mark out the center point, make sure I don't hit the stud button up there, and um, get up there, drill the hole, and then I can poke those up into it. Okay, so that's all the cutouts done. In there, in there. Um, so here's the housing. I'll just show you how you connect up the globe. So there it is. Flip it upside down. You got this little cutout here to the side, and then you got these these metal spring things, which actually hold it. So on that cutout, on either side, slide it in, and then you just want to maneuver it into those springs, kind of hard one-handed, but um... And just compress the spring with the side of it and then push it down like that. So that's in and that's good to go. So there's the the gimbal feature on them too, so I can point it wherever I want to point it. So what I'm going to do is put these into the roof. Um, this kit also comes with the plug adapter. So it sits on the end here, and then um, you wire up this other end to your system. So I'm going to do that now. So there we are, they're all in. Just need to wire it up now. Okay, so I'm starting to wire these lights. Um, I've done the holes for the switches, cut them out, the switch is gonna sit in there. Um, I'm gonna have two switches, one located here, and then one located over there. And then they're gonna be linked up together, so it's a two-way switch. One's gonna light this living room area, these two lights here. The next is gonna light that room in there, and then the last one's gonna light the toilet bathroom area in there. So I've never actually wired two-way switch before, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's gonna be all 12 volt. These are marked out in the exact same height as each other, just so it's uniform. So since I built this myself, I know there's a noggin along this join. Um, nothing below. So I put the switch above the noggin just so I don't need to go through it, because I can't see, because I'm doing all this wiring later on. Um, there's a top plate up the top which runs all the way along and I know there's nothing in between except insulation. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole at the top through the top plate, run it down and then poke it out here and then there should be no interference. So there we are, I've pulled that, um, that tongue groove thing through the roof and um, try to get these wires out. So there we are, I've pulled some wires. These ones are going to be um, constant power. Okay, so I've sorted out the wiring. Got two switches there, one here, one over there. They both control the same thing. So there's three switches. Top one is for this living area, middle one's for that that bedroom, side room, and um, this last one's for the toilet, bathroom area. And that's the same on the other side. So just to show it works, top one for the living area, which is these ones. Middle one for that side room. 
and then the bottom one for the toilet. And to show that um, both these switches are working, I'm going to turn all these ones on. So that's on. That one's on. And then that one's on. And then if I come to this second switch here, top one for the living area, which are these ones. Middle one for this room. Bottom one for the toilet. So yeah, two-way switch. What happens comes in from the switchboard. Main power, which is the red wire, comes onto the C of each switch. And then from these switches, we've got the actual switch wires. So two wires goes out of each switch, which would be, um, I think it's loop one and loop two on each switch. So two wires for the first switch, two for the second switch, two for the third switch. And then these wires run all the way to this switch. So they come in here, so two for the first, two for the second, two for the third. And then the main power runs from this one to your lights. So there's no main power running from this switch and that switch. It all comes through the looped switches. And uh, once they're in a certain position, that completes the circuit and then the power continues through these wires to your lights. Don't know if that was explained very good, but that's my understanding of how this works. So, um, yeah, I've got to push these wires up and screw them on, make it look pretty neat. Not bad. If you want to, um, I can draw up a diagram of how I've connected this. If you're interested, just let me know. But um, yeah, pretty stoked. It took me a fair while to get the hang of it and work it out, but um, got it sorted, so that's good. So that's where it comes out of the house, through the conduit, a black wire and a red wire. I need to tidy that up, so just ignore that. But it comes out, and then I've got it onto this circuit breaker, which I can isolate, so that turns it off. So no, no lights are in that room. And then that turns it on. And then these are connected to the positive and negative of the battery terminals, just like your charge controller would and your inverter would, but um, just this secondary switch which I can control, just like the solar switch where I can turn off, off and on the solar.